Hey guys, Amp here bringing you another Affinity Publisher tutorial, and in this tutorial we'll be going over basic text. So we're going to come over here to the frame text tool, and we're going to make just sort of a large box, and we can type in just a bunch of random letters, and you can see it shows up black, and we can now edit the text. So maybe I want to increase the text size, um, maybe we'll go 36. And up here at the top bar, you can see it's changed to all of the ways you can change text. So we can align it to the center. Uh, we can uh, change columns. Uh, we can do uh, add symbols here from the Glyph browser. If we wanted some weirder, more interesting symbols. Um, we can change the font down here. Let's change it to uh, this, so we can have a bunch of cool looking characters, sort of a uh, wingdings style font. And uh, we can even go into the character panel, and this will allow us to change even more. So you can change the language, uh, like spelling English, you can uh, change hyphenation style. You can even uh, change different alignments. Uh, the certain typography. Uh, there's just a bunch of stuff to play around with. So if we maybe wanted to add another one, add like a body for yours. Um, up here we can change uh, the style to uh, heading. Or, and then we can change this to body, and we can just type away for the body. This is just an example, I'm not actually typing anything. Um, and we can even change, let's see, we wanted to change the spacing. We can do that here. And uh, you can kind of just play around with uh, different text and different ways you want it. You can also change the color of the text. So say I wanted it to be blue and say I want the heading to be red. You can change that. There's a bunch of different things you can play around with in Affinity Publisher to make your text uh, work for what you're doing. So this will be applied to any of the pages you've already created. Um, and you can sort of rotate text to how you see fit. So uh, you can just kind of play around to get uh, your specific meaning for all of the text. Uh, if you like this tutorial, give it a thumbs up and subscribe for more Affinity Publisher tutorials. Thanks for watching.